what's going on guys this is Rampage now I'm just gonna quickly show you a few modifications for mod uh, Modern Warfare <laughs> uh, Metro 2033 on the PC now there's three configuration file locations and I'll just show you exactly where each of them are now for me if you have multiple drives say if your your Steam games are installed on D drive or other drives uh, you'll have to find them yourself but if you installed Steam or your games are installed in the default location, go to uh, local disk C, program files x86 if you have a 64-bit operating system. If you have 32-bit, it's uh, program files. Uh, scroll down to Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, find your game, Metro 2033, scroll all the way down and there should be a user.cfg. Now if there is no uh, user configuration file or user.cfg well there's several other locations you can check so I'm just going to show you right now I already have two of them open I think anyway but yeah you want to go to C uh, I just quickly forgot hold on yeah <laughs> program files sorry um, yeah program files x86 and then go steam user data that whatever your uh, steam ID number is then find 43110 remote now there should be a uh, user.cfg in there but if there is no user.config in any of these locations uh, that I'm going to be showing you right now any of these three locations then I will show you how to actually fix that or tell you guys how to do that because I'm not going to record the game and then go back so it just makes it harder for me but anyway you want to type in the address bar percent app data sorry percent app data percent click enter now it will take you to app data roaming now you just want to click back on that and open up local 4a games metro 2033 and user.cfg these are the three locations that you will find configuration files for metro 2033 now me personally I have no idea why 4a games chose to do this because it just makes it more difficult and a massive pain in the ass to actually uh, copy your uh, user.cfg or just overall uh, mod the configuration file just because they're in three locations if you if you get one and then you gotta do it in others it's retarded but anyway that being said now okay so you wanna open up any of the user.cfgs um, at the top here there's just bindings scroll down I don't know what this stuff does uh, MSAA you can turn that to two or four times or eight times if you're an enthusiast but me my system won't run like that uh, but uh, yeah alright so there's other settings I think that's all for physics anyway uh, bloom threshold I turn that to zero because I hate bloom effects, especially in Battlefield 3, they piss me off. Uh, DAO and DAO enable smooth are all off. Uh, D blur distance is zero. I don't know if that is going to impact my player's actual vision in any way, but anyway, uh, R underscore API is uh, the API such as DirectX 9, 10, or 11. So 9 is zero. 10 is 1 and 11 is 2 I believe <coughs> uh, LOD or local M blur COEF I turn that to 0 MSAA level 0 PPAA blend 0 PPAA grad 0 I don't know what these these two do but I don't know hopefully it helps performance but uh Vsync is off in the configuration file because uh, I found that the actual game's Vsync is more slightly more intensive or um, I don't know, I, I just found the NVIDIA one so much better and easy to work with and whatnot. Uh, sick camera, I don't know what that is, sick FOV, that's your field of view so I've got it to 75, it's default I think is 40 or 45 or something uh, that is a really small FOV. If you want to uh, play around with that, you can. 
but um, I probably wouldn't go any higher than 75 or 80 because if any higher than that and your guy's arms will start like disappearing at the joints and stuff when he moves around and it just looks kind of weird but anyway after you've fixed up your configuration file and set the resolution and whatever to how you actually want to play the game now some people on YouTube actually forget to do this because uh, sometimes the game might actually override your saves so basically you want to right click properties attributes read only make sure that that is ticked and then click OK or apply OK now and do that for the uh, install directory for Metro 2033 the app data directory for Metro and also the user config so you want to do that for all three of them and I'll show you now that I've done it and this one right here so you can see that all three of them have uh, read only so that will actually enable um, like it won't actually override your current configuration file it will just read it and go okay that's what it's going to load instead of um, if you have a default configuration file and you change it every time you load up the game it might actually wipe that save and then bring in defaults so that's why I tend to uh, make it only uh, read only so that's that now I'll show you what I've, I'm doing in uh, NVIDIA Inspector I'm pretty sure you can also do this in NVIDIA Control Panel sorry about you AMD guys I don't know anything about AMD cards so you're gonna have to figure this out for yourself sorry guys but uh, anyway in NVIDIA Inspector you wanna type in profiles Metro click on Metro 2033 now these anti-aliasing uh, behavior flags uh, basically if you want different sorts of anti-aliasing instead of the MSAA that's injected or given within the game um, so it gives you a whole lot of uh, anti-aliasing sort of things here or options now typically I would try to use CSAA but or 8 times CSAA but for some reason uh, Metro 2033 was not actually a very good port for the PC platform so therefore I cannot do that because CSAA is very uh, like it's it's overall it's really fine like it it works really well but it it's not as CPU or GPU intensive as MSAA or FXAA I know that FXAA isn't as intensive but it does it like it uh, smooths out the edges really well uh, on the video cards anyway uh, get that, yeah. and then toggle FXAA on or off I've got that as on if you turn this toggle FXAA in indicator on or off that just basically tells you what it's doing and it brings up another NVIDIA overlay uh, <laughs> which is kind of annoying uh, threaded optimization on triple buffering on vertical sync force on those are my settings so basically I think I should show you uh, with the NVIDIA control panel if I can I'm not too sure whether I can guys bear with me okay so FXAA if you have the latest NVIDIA driver I'll show you which ones I have oops uh, so I have 310.70 I don't know at the point of uh, this video actually being uploaded if that's the latest one but as of now it is so basically you turn on FXAA scroll all the way down but if you haven't done this already power performance or power management mode turn that to prefer maximum performance and multi display mixed GPU acceleration change that to single display mode or performance yeah single di uh, display performance mode now switch on threaded optimization if you have a CPU that is more than two cores so it's four core CPU this works really well I'm not too sure about two core CPUs or duo CPUs because let's face it they probably would have a really hard time running this game if I'm having a really hard time actually running this game any higher than DX9 on high so um, I don't know um, yeah, and then I have triple buffering on and vsync on and then once you've done that click apply I'm not going to do that because I might actually override my NVIDIA inspector settings so yeah after you've done all that make sure 
to double check the your uh, your user.cfg files obtain or have the attributes of read only if they don't have read only you'll probably find that your configuration file will reset and you'll have to do this these steps all over again <laughs> so yeah hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any other uh, uh, performance like increases with different codes in the configuration file for Metro 2033 please let me know again my name is Rampage I hope you have enjoyed this video peace out